How are you doing in your class? And how hard do you really need to study for that final exam? Those are questions I asked myself all the time when I was a student in the 90s. And today I'm going to show you how you can figure out how you're doing in a class at any given time using a DOS spreadsheet. So the spreadsheet that I used throughout the 90s was a program called As Easy As. Uh, and that was meant to be a replacement. It was a shareware program meant to be a replacement for the Lotus 123 program. Uh, Lotus 123 was uh, a very popular commercial spreadsheet program, as easy as uh, played in that name, and it's really sort of as easy as 123. Um, so, as you can see here, this is the uh, uh, as easy as, and uh, it's very similar to modern spreadsheets. You've got letters across the top for the columns, and you have numbers down the left uh, for the rows. So something I would typically do is uh, I would look at a class and I would look at the at the uh, uh, the curriculum and I would look at the syllabus at the beginning of the, of the semester and I would look at what assignments we're going to be getting. And so let's say I had uh, a uh, in week one we had uh, some sort of introduction assignment. Uh, in week two we had some sort of a skills review uh one and let's say there were 11 of those that's a typical for a semester you'd have uh, usually 12 full weeks plus a uh, 13th week for uh, the final exam so uh, there's skills review two uh, i don't want to be typing this all time so i'll just go ahead and, and type in numbers for the rest of it and um, Uh, I already have a uh, problem with the columns, and that skills review one and two are kind of well past uh, the, the, the width of this column. Uh, that might cause problems later on, so let's go ahead and adjust the width of this column. That's very easy to do and as easy as. So I'm going to use the slash key to bring up the menu, and that slash key was something that uh, was very common across spreadsheets uh, of that era. Uh, and in this menu, you can see a sheet at the very top of the screen. It's going to show you what's inside each of those menus. Uh, and the first one in there is column width, which is exactly what I want. So I'll press return. And there's column width. I'll press return on that. And I can set the width of the cursor column. And here I'm going to uh, set the width to be, I think, 16 probably will work out pretty well. There we go. Now, um, let's also say that um, I have, um, uh, in addition to every skills review, I also have a uh, weekly exam uh, every week, obviously. And let me just go ahead and type in the numbers so we're not watching me type the entire video. And uh, let's go ahead and adjust this column width. So slash sheet column width set width uh that's probably going to be a little shorter let's call it 14. Um, and uh in addition to that let's also say that i have uh two papers throughout the semester somewhere in the semester uh so we'll say uh, paper one and uh, paper two and then at the end of the semester i have a final exam uh, now, how many points do I have on each of those? So let's go ahead and put that in column B. How many points are these? Uh, let's say the introduction assignment was five points. Uh, let's say all the skills review are going to be five points each. And uh, the papers and the final exam, eh, those might be bigger, so we'll call those 100 points for each of those. Uh, now, the weekly exams, how many points are those? Well, those could be, uh, let's say, 10 points each. Now, I could be typing 10 the whole way down. Actually, a faster way to do that uh, is to do a copy, and I could have done this before, but let's go ahead and do it for the, for the 10. So I'm going to do slash to bring up that menu. You can see here I've got copy cell, and I'm going to copy uh, the cell from that I'm in right now, which is E2. And I only want to be E2, so it's the range of E2 to E2. That's what you're seeing at the top of the screen. Hit return on that. And I'm going to copy it into uh, starting at E3 and going to dot dot. That tells me to do a range uh, down to E12. And there we go. I've now copied the value of 10 uh, across those uh, uh, rows. So. Um, the um, what's the total? Uh, 
Uh, let's go ahead and put in a uh, just a visual break here, uh, and we could do that very easily with the uh, backslash, and then uh, I'm just going to put in a hyphen uh, and hit return. You can see there it's inserted a little uh, uh, horizontal line, and let's do the uh, sum of the points that we have, and so that's going to be a function. Uh, and the way that functions worked in uh, in Lotus and in Easy As, and in fact also in earlier spreadsheets like uh, like uh, Physicalc, uh, all functions begin with uh, the at sign. So you can see in the upper left hand corner what I'm typing in the cell, and so I'm going to type at sum, uh, and this is a function. So I'm going to do an open paren, and I need to tell it what range I want to have uh, the sum for. So it's going to be uh, going from B1 dot dot down to B15. Let's close that paren. I also want to add the column on the right. So let's go ahead and do plus another at sum from E2 dot dot E12. And that's 470 points. Uh, there's actually an easier way to do a sum. So let's go ahead and, uh, and try that again. Let's just uh, put in a, a zero just to make sure I know what, that I've got nothing in there. And let's do another uh, sum. This time we're going to do uh, at sum of B1 to B15. That's the same as we did before, but instead of closing it and do another at sum, I'm just going to do comma because this will get let me add another range. And so that other range is going to be uh, E2 dot dot uh, to E12. And you can see that's 470 points. Uh, now, throughout the semester, I usually would uh, track how I'm doing uh, in each of the uh, assignments. And so uh, let's say that in the introduction, being a pretty easy assignment, I got five points out of that. Uh, maybe the next four weeks, I was eh, pretty close to being full points, but not quite. Uh, let's say that was 4.9, uh, 4.8. Uh, 4.9 again, and uh, let's just say uh, 4.5. Uh, and then, uh, and yeah, this as far as we've gone. And so uh, over here in the weekly exams, I've been doing pretty well on those as well. So let's say uh, 9.5, uh, 9.8, 9.2, and uh, another 9.5. So how am I doing the rest of the semester? I, I could just make the simple assumption that I'm, I'm doing pretty well, and I, I think I'm going to be getting somewhere between a 4 and a 5. In the worst case scenario, I'm just going to put in a 4 throughout the rest of those. And over here, eh, I'm doing between a 9 and a 10. So worst case scenario, I'm going to put in a 9. We're going to go back and, and change that later on to see what, what trending kind of would look like. But for right now, let's just put in some solid numbers. And then what what are the paper uh, scores? Well, I, I'm probably going to be doing okay on those. Uh, let's just put in a 90 points for each of the two papers. And uh, what's the final exam? Well, we'll put in, well, let's put in another 90. And we'll, we'll just kind of see where we are with that. Let's put another horizontal line just so we can kind of have a visual break. Again, backslash key and hyphen character and hit return. You can see it puts in a nice horizontal line. And then we're going to do another sum. Uh, now I could type that whole sum thing again, or I could just go ahead and um, what would be great is to have this uh, cell be replicated into uh, C17, um, but have all of those references uh, shift over one, which actually will happen if you do a copy. So we're going to go ahead and do slash key to bring up that menu. And there's copy cell. We're going to copy from B17 to B17, just the one cell, and we're going to copy it into, uh, well, let's just go ahead and move the cursor, we can do that. Uh, we're going to move it into C17, I'll hit return, and I get 423.1, right? You can see that uh, from B17, if I move the cursor, you can see that uh, uh, it's shifting over all the columns. Uh, by one. So instead of doing B1 to B15, it's doing C1 to C15. Instead of doing E2 to E12, it's doing F2 to F12. And then if I want to calculate the grade for that, uh, that's just uh, simple math. So I could do, uh, let's divide um, C17 divided by B17. Let's put that over here. So that's going to be uh, I have to put in a number. Now, if I put in just the cell reference, if I did uh, C17 divided by uh, B17, that, that to the spreadsheet is going to look like um, text because I put in um, a, um, 
uh, a letter starting that. So I'm going to make it look like a number by putting in the plus sign. And that's uh, C17 divided by B17. And it looks like I'm getting a nice 90% uh, score on that. Uh, now I can make that look a little bit better to actually look like percentage by formatting this uh, cell. So I'm going to do slash to bring up the menu. I'm going to do range. And I'm going to go down to format. And I'm going to make this a percent. So I'll go down to percent. I could also use the, uh, uh, just, just press the, the hot keys that are sort of uh, labeled there, the shortcut keys. Hit return on that. How many digits after the decimal place? Let's go ahead and just do two. And what range do I want to do? I want to do it on C18. Hit return, 90.02%. So very easy to read. Uh, clearly, I'm getting an A on that one. So uh, let's do one other quick thing. Let's look at, uh, up here, we made the simple assumption that we were going to get four. Um, let's, uh, let's, let's do a running sort of average. Uh, let's calculate uh, the average of the four cells above it, and we'll just sort of propagate that down. So what's the average function? Average is at AVG, and that uh, stands for average. And that's going to be uh, what range you're going to be doing. We're going to be doing the, uh, the skills review one through four, and so that's going to be C2 dot dot C5. And you can see there that uh, that's our average of those four cells. And if I wanted to kind of keep moving that average down, it's going to do an average of averages, but that's eh, for, that's okay for where I am. That's, that's probably okay. Uh, so I'm going to do uh, copy this cell from C6 to C6, just that one cell. I'm going to copy it into uh, C7 dot dot C12. And you can see that it's what it's done. It's, it's now propagated the average of the four cells above each of those cells. Um, and the interesting thing about that is by the time we get to uh, C10, it's doing an average of C6 through C9. And all of those are averages of the cells above those. Uh, and in fact, C9 is an average of the four cells above that, which includes itself three averages. With, so we're actually moving the averages around. But uh, for what we're doing here, that's, that's probably okay. Now let's go ahead and try that over here. We'll do at average of the four cells above it, and that's F2 to F5. And let's go ahead and uh, copy that uh, to the other cells. So we'll do a slash to bring up the menu, copy cell. Uh, from F6 to F6, that's the one I'm on, and we're going to move that into, or copy it into uh, F7 dot dot uh, F, oops, F12. And there we go. I've got a, an average that is now uh, changing uh, week by week. Um, if I uh, get a, a 90 in a paper, maybe it's a, maybe it's a 95 on that first paper, and you can see my, my grade on the bottom is changing every time I update these numbers. Let's say paper two was also 95 points. Uh, and then throughout the rest of the semester, let's go ahead and update these numbers. So uh, I'm actually uh, was getting pretty close to these. So I was doing a 4.8, did a little uh, less well in this next one. This is called four. Uh, this next one, uh, four and a half. Uh, let's do another four, uh, four and a half. Uh, we'll do four and a half and we'll do another one that's pretty well 4.9 pretty well over there let's go over here to this column uh, this is the first cell that had the average in it so we'll put some actual numbers in here and let's say we did uh, nines for a couple of weeks you can see it's adjusting the averages below as it goes uh, let's say I did much less well on this next one so we'll put in an eight for that one um, and uh, then I'll put in a, another 9, uh, I'll say maybe an 8.5 for this next one, and then maybe a 9 for the next one. So you can see I'm doing, doing pretty well for the class. But the question is, how well do I have to do on that final exam to still get an A? Um, so we can do some what-if analysis by just adjusting uh, the value of C15, uh, which is where we're in right now. So if I were to make that, let's say, 80, well, I'm still getting an A if I do, uh, you know, B, bottom B work on the final exam. Um, 79, still doing well. 78, 
So I would have to do a 79 points on the final exam to still get an A in the class. And I did this all the time for all of my classes um, when I was a student. And that's just one of the great things that you can do uh, with As Easy As. So what'd you think about that? Uh, how to use as easy as to calculate the grade for a class. Um, visit us on our website at uh, freedos.org. Also, join us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and consider, consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you.